Alright guys, uh, so I'm working on this LDT or Wall Interest version 2 gearbox. Uh, I'm just going to show you real quick how I close this gearbox because uh, this gearbox is probably one of the more difficult gearbox to work with mainly because uh, it doesn't have a <laughs> quick detach spring system for the, you know, for the main spring so you have uh, quite a few things going on when you're trying to close the shell so first thing first, uh, you want to make sure your tapper plate is in place and you know, that it won't jump out by itself and second thing, the trigger some trigger, especially after markets one, they might not have a very you know good fitting for the spring to be seated in nicely, so it has a tendency to jump out. Now in that case, you can use uh, a little bit of uhu glue, you know, just so that uh, the trigger spring will stay in place. So for well, for my case, they stay in pretty nicely, it's not jumping jumping out by itself. Then the the next thing is the anti-reversal uh, I'm going to use the stock one here I'm not going to use the aftermarket metal one because I see no reason to do so uh, if your gearbox is giving you this problem the anti-reversal latch I recommend this this is a little clamp that you can buy from Daiso uh, sells for like you know 5-6 ringgit a pack of 4 and it's, this is nice because this is very thin you know the alligator mouth is thin it's thin enough that it doesn't actually obstruct you from closing the shell later on so what you want to do is just just grab your gearbox where your anti-reversal latch is and then just put it there like so let me just bring it closer to the camera like this so then the anti-reversal latch will stay in place until you close the gearbox or until you remove the alligator clamp uh, in my case, I'm, I actually have a uh, Fighting Bros quick gear modules here, so I suppose that helps the whole thing stays in place as well. So if you if your gears are really giving you a lot of pain, uh, I recommend trying out the Fighting Bros quick gear modules. They really help a ton, and plus you can skip all the troubles of shaming the gearbox. And lastly, not really lastly, one of the thing, the piston, because when you have the spring in. Uh, where's my spring? Okay, this is a 1.3 spring. Uh, 1.1 and 1.2 spring is very easy. It, it just goes in, it just goes right in. But 1.3 and above, you are probably going to have some sort of a trouble trying to get them fit in. So in this video, I will show you how. Now, uh, sorry, I digress. Now, uh, when this spring, you're trying to hold it in place like this, you are going to force the entire cylinder system to want to jump off so I don't recommend trying this method like you know you're trying to force it in like this and then you try to close uh, try not to do that because that's just very painful what I recommend to do instead is just just take off the spring first make sure the anti-reversal is in now uh, once everything is in place you can attempt by doing this just put this here uh, make sure the piston and the teeth is not engaged make sure they are free and you just do this next you will want uh, okay let's say if my anti reversal reversal latch is giving me trouble here i will leave the clamp in like so and then i'm just going to close the gearbox at this condition but focusing on the front part of the gearbox first so i'm going to close it this making sure the front is closed completely the safety is not blocking the trigger is in place like so now uh, now I will screw in the front part of the gearbox Then at this point, you can see that the shell is actually uh, block, blocked by the clamp here. So now you want to hold the gearbox at the wherever the gear is, and then you want to remove the clamp now. And then the anti-reversal latch 
the shaft should slide right in to the shell. So now, continue with closing up the shell. Now, if any of your gear actually move, you can try and adjust them. So, then just to make sure that everything is in place. Now, uh, I would close this. Uh, not over tightening anything so you have a spring that you have to deal with right now so one of the advantage of dealing with the nylon or rather a not metal gearbox shell is that you can bend the gearbox it flexes so you can use this to your advantage <laughs> although well some people consider this as a bad thing because you know metal is always better blah 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 so right now, you if you have your uh, spring retainer or spring stopper, whatever, or spring guide, uh, even if you have a stock one, it works the same. You can put something sharp in there, like so. So in this case, I have a metal one. So I'm just going to shove it in with the pin punch, or if you have a screwdriver, you can do the same. So like this, and then I will attempt to shove the entire thing in. Uh, you have to pay attention that to the knobs here, the stopper, they should face down, you know, up, down, not side. So try to make it, try to position it before you do this. Now, uh, with your entire palm, apply pressure to the front part of the gearbox so that, you know, things don't jump around. Now, you can split open the back of the gearbox with your fingers and then just slowly push it in. This, this, and there you go. Now, uh, on the first try or couple of try, you may not actually get it fit nicely. Now, uh, but at this point, you can actually just, you know, keep in pressure on both sides of the shell, and then use a large screwdriver or sort to hook it in place. There. So once the two taps is seated within the gearbox and you're done. Oops. So if you're not paying attention, this will happen again. Then you will have to do it again. There. So when the spring is in, apply pressure firmly. Remember, firmly. Because otherwise you might have a spring shooting out. Alright, so now you should close this side of the gearbox first as soon as, it, as soon as possible because you run the risk of the whole thing jumping off again <laughs> once you have this in and then you should have this side of the shell take the screw in as well again remember apply firm pressure until this two screw is secured Right, and there you have it. Now we can relax a little bit. Yeah, hand is cramping up. All right, so now we just continue with the rest of the screw. All Alright, now that's done. So we just finish off with the remaining of the screws.
there you go. A gearbox assembled. Easy peasy. So uh, this is it. This is for this is a short guide on how you work with the LDT War Interest version 2 gearbox. Uh, I heard a lot of my customer complaining that this gearbox is a nightmare to handle. And I do agree, but with experience, you can actually find a lot of different ways, funny funny method and you know how to assemble it quickly. So that has been the video on how do you put in a 1.3 spring into a LGT gearbox. It should apply to the other spring as well, 1.4, 1.5, but you just need some more elbow grease when you shove it in. Alright, and that's it. Thank you for watching. See you guys soon.